Hey, Scotty, can you close that door for us? Let us know that you're here with us. You could also walk around if you'd like. You're obviously trying... Oh! What is up, fam? Welcome to another haunted adventure. Today, I am going to the old Washu Club. Ghost Adventures probably started their career here, from what I hear, at least in Virginia City, up the street at the Silver Queen Hotel, I believe is the very first place where Zach Bagans had a paranormal experience. Now we were granted an exclusive tour. And we're gonna go right now and check this place out. Happens to be one of the most haunted places in all of America. Let's go. Fam. So this is Shelly and she does the tours here. An amazing person. If you come here, ask for her because she's very knowledgeable. So where are we at right now? Okay, this is the crypt. It would have been originally the ice house in 1861. This is original. This whole thing is original. This is where they would have kept all their food, you know, their perishables and their ice. But starting in 1871 to 1923 in here, this is where all the bodies would have been stacked in the wintertime. Because up here- Is this they, a morgue? Or well, they kind of kept it as a morgue. Um, with all the food. Oh, right with the here. food? Yeah, yep. cool. um, because the ground up here is so hard, they couldn't bury them until the springtime. So they would keep them in here and no, they were not in caskets. They would have been in burlap bags in here wow. stacked up in here um in 1874 in here there were 77 bodies stacked up oh my gosh yeah right in here were they miners they would have been everybody there was a okay. terrible typhoid epidemic that went through the city and that's what ended up happening and so they had to stack them up in here until they could bury them in the springtime wow what's a typhoid it's <laughs> it sounded good. Yes, is that like yellow fever? Yes, or something? it's probably okay. something like that. It's a pandemic. That's what it is. And so they would have been stacked up in here. In this room, you'll get hit by a lot of pebbles in here, and a lot of people get their hair pulled. But if I turn off the lights, there will be a lot of orbs in here. Let's go for it. Okay. And a lot of times you can see them with um, just your bare eyes. I never get creeped out in this room. No? No. And do you know why? Probably because it's peaceful. It kind of is. I just saw is. some orbs. Yep. I totally believe it. Now you say most people that come in here can't make it past 2 a.m.? Yeah. Now, why is that? Like, it's just because they're scared? Yeah. And I'm going to tell you guys, I get way more stuff during the daytime. Really? Yeah. Well, if the place is haunted, it's haunted it, all that's hours. That's right. Today. Is that an orb? That's an orb. I've never seen an orb like that. That is an orb that, and we're going to go up those stairs. It's like the moon. Yeah. Um, we're going to go in here. Here, I'll show you guys this first. Some ghost it's Adventures was here. Whoa. Wait. Oh. Just wait. Oh, this is so the this haunted is, spiral staircase. Yeah. Okay. And the lady in blue, which see her upstairs. I've she, read about this. She is always on a staircase and she's always down here. And I will not use that lady's room. And Danielle, she's a bartender here. Today's her day off, but she's so funny. She will not, she gets scared to death in here. Really? She will, they call her name, Danielle. Danielle, they hum to her all the time. Um, oh, I will not be her. in there at all because they know it scares her. There's a guy here. He, and he's an actual 6'7". And so with his tennis shoes on, he's probably 6'9". Oh, wow. And he's like, Shelly, I gotta show you this picture. He took it two years ago, right inside this mirror right here. He took five pictures. They were all normal, right? Just snapped them, just like I always do too. Whenever I feel like I'm being watched, I always start taking pictures. So he snapped five pictures on a sixth picture. Right above him is the lady in blue. What? what? Right here. So she would have had to been like seven foot tall. I went... Do we know anything about the lady in blue? Yeah, I'll tell you when I get upstairs. Okay. Yeah. Oh no. So this spiral staircase was on Ripley's, believe it or not. And like Shelly said, there's nothing supporting it. Like they're actually unsafe. And then we will get customers, and I'm not kidding you, that will come flying out of the woman's bathroom because they want to know who's in there pacing. Wait, and they can it's see that woman's bathroom yeah. right there? And That's the one you were talking mm -hmm. about? They can see her blue dress. 
She's always got a blue dress on. See her old time fashion shoes. Go that in, is so in there. cool. You're so cute. Can I go in there? <laughs> you know what I mean? Is that going to make him angry for going in the women's bathroom? If it's going to make her angry, don't go in there. Um, I think she's just always here. She may like it. <laughs> yes, she might. <laughs> so this is her, you guys. Uh, this is the blue mist right here. And this is her. It, you can see her pretty face. Her long wow. blue hair. She's oh, got a choker around her neck. This is the top of her dress. Go all the way down, and you can see her five toes. That is so cool. Yeah, see her five toes. Up here where the brick starts, that would have been all open. This would have been a balcony, and this is where the dance hall girls would have came oh. out and danced for these guys down here. I am going to spend a little time in the woman's room that people never go and use, including some of the workers here. I'm going to do it alone, too. Not right now, though. Somebody was just walking. Oh, now I got the chills. Oh, gosh. Mm -hmm. oh, listen. You don't want to step on the staircase. Tiffany caught a picture of the woman, woman in blue. Thank you for allowing us to come into your space. We mean no disrespect, but we, we thank you for being able to come up here and explore. <laughs> You're pretty skinny. It's not working out. Oh, clowns. So, I know. Oh, I love clowns. Yeah. So, you guys, this building was built in 1861. Joshua Douglas. He would actually probably build half of this block right here. These guys were so wealthy up here in 1861 that this right here is all original and they say it is made from real gold. Real gold His wallpaper? Virginia City started off gold. And then they were throwing out all the silver uh -huh. until they found out that it was silver and then it became a silver town. Oh, wow. So this down here, you guys, um, doctors, lawyers, and bankers would have been here. And then upstairs is where all the miners lived. Oh, wow. So yeah, people and, like lived in here. Oh, yeah. So then what ended up happening was in um, 1872, 73, the millionaires bought this club, bought mm. this place, and turned it into a private Club. So then all the women would have been up here and it was basically pretty much a brothel <laughs> And so I'm gonna take you guys and it was for all the millionaires Are there any plans to rehab this area and no, I mean they're, no? they're, they're, they're working on it, but it'd be easier just to tear it down Really? Because of all the zoning Oh, okay. So you guys. Oh, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to punch you. <laughs> That's a good job. <laughs> That's Willie. Hey, Willie. <laughs> Willie Nelson. So yeah. I don't know how much you want to know about this, but, you know, this is where Ghost Adventure started. Mm -hmm. They did not have a TV show before they came to the Washer Club. And they've been here three times. But in 2009, and I don't know how much you want me to tell you this, but I'll tell you guys this. Tell me everything. In nine. Mm -hmm. Zach and Aaron were in this room filming. It was only them two. That is it, right? That's it. Just them two. But on this wall right here, mm -hmm. there was three shadows. And we call him the Shadow Man. He's always down here. He's always around here. We see him about every day. I never get creeped out by him. Nothing. He's always down here. We get the best pictures and the best videos of him. And then, of course, they ran out of here screaming just like... Do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this got condemned in uh, 1983. This got condemned and they had to take everything out of here. But the spiral staircase right there is the top of it. Oh, oh okay. They had, to, they had to cap it off so people would not come up here. Oh, yeah, makes sense. I see. Yeah. So now I'll take you guys into this room. Oh. They will never care about Oh, no. No. Oh, it doesn't fall down on Earth, but... Oh, my God, we are nowhere to see. Oh, shh! <laughs> Is somebody whistling? Yep, we get whistlers all the time. I just heard a whistle. Yeah. You heard a whistle? Yeah, and they were right in front of you. The whistling was right over here. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, there must be some air coming from here, right? <laughs> Cause my butt just got really cold. We'll, we'll say that. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. So get this, guys. 
Oh, you found it? So Shelly took an interesting picture. What you said it was last think, week? Yes, last Friday. So this is the very first thing that starts happening, and this is in the broad daylight, right? And it's right here. Oh man, look, right that's a face. Wall. Okay, wait a minute. It's right here. That's a whole black shadow. Uh-huh, right there in the broad daylight. You can see the sun. Then this is my next picture. Oh wow, what? it's a woman. And you can you know, even, it almost no, looks like this. she's holding a tray. Yes, it does, and you can count her five fingers. Oh and that God. was right there. What? Yep, but this is even better. So the next, my next tour that came up, mm -hmm. right? So you see that? Somebody was in that window right there taking pictures. And look who's standing right behind him. <gasps> that is so mm -hmm. awesome. And I get the best stuff during the daytime. During the day. I'm glad yep. we're here right before it gets dark. Yeah, I really do. I think that we get the best stuff. And this was taking, that's him right there. And this mm -hmm. was taken in the broad daylight right here. So I was facing this way taking pictures. That is so cool. And so he was right here. I see him all the time, and people get like the best videos of him down here too. Hey, Shadow Man, what's your name? Is that Dave? Is that his name? I heard Eric and. Oh. That said a lot. Harold. There's a lot of names coming. We only want to talk to the Shadow Man. I absolutely believe that too. There's so many out here. Really? Okay, you're more than welcome to talk to us, but one at a time, please. Are you down the hall over here? I heard gold. I felt something right at the entrance of this. Yeah. Hey, what's down here? It's not an exit. Oh, okay. So Be careful, just to show you that we are um, three stories up. Right. Why is there a set of stairs here? Because that other one was the street. Ah, okay. Look, this is like an exterior wall. Supposedly, some of the spirits here end up following people home. So I would highly suggest if you come visit, say a little prayer or even just flat out tell the spirits, you're not allowed to follow me home, okay? As I was walking out right now, I heard a tap. Of course, when I have the camera off. Tiffany and Shelly are over there somewhere. You can hear them talking. Can you do that tap for me again? Oh. Thank you. I don't think there's anybody on the third floor. There's nobody up here. This whole area is condemned. Of course I had the camera off, right? Yeah, of course. I heard like a, a tap in the corner. Turn the camera on. We heard that. We heard the tap too. You heard a tap? Uh -huh. Wait, from over here? No, no we were in, we're in there. Is there somebody on the third floor? Uh, no. Cause it sounded like there was some walking around there up there is. too. There is, and that will be Scotty. Scotty? Wait, Scotty's not alive. Thank you, Scotty. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, this is a ballroom? This is the ballroom. So, this is where first adventure shots are served. Right here, you guys, is where Zach's camera would have been. And right here is where they got their very first full-on apparition walking out that door. We see him all the time, all the time, but I believe he's a residual hunting because he, oh, he just, he just gets up and walks out the door. What? Did you have your camera there? Uh, I mean, I was- There was a whole thing yeah. right there. What was it? It was like a, a shadow a mist? movement yeah. on the floor. And he always is here, you guys. Um, but he never looks at you. He doesn't acknowledge you. He doesn't walk back in the door. So it's like skipping time, you know? He's just doing what he always does. So I had a tour last Thursday. Um, I had 
22 people in here at 7 o'clock, and I'll just tell you this really fast. Oh, oh okay. That was nice, because they know we're in here, obviously. <laughs> but right here, this whole thing moved all the way across the floor in front of 22. 20, was anybody filming that? Oh, yeah, everybody. And two guys, I get bolters, so they bolted out of here. Because the noise that it made when it came across the floor is what really gets you. You know, the scratching oh. noise. And you can still see the scratches. Oh, you can. Oh, look, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. What do you think moved that, or who do you think moved that? I have no idea, but I was going to tell you that grandma and her five granddaughters were staying in here last Wednesday night, and so they were up here, and they were goofing off, just being girls, you yeah. know, goofing off up here, just screwing around, clapping, laughing, playing, that kind of stuff, right? Then they put down a recorder in here and went downstairs into the museum for like 20 minutes, came back up here, and when they came back up here, they listened to the recording, and you can hear them all walking down the stairs, laughing, that kind of stuff, right? But then um, you hear one of these benches or chairs get moved and you hear clapping and somebody trying to dance. So they were up here like mim mimicking them. Yeah, wow. and it's Should right we leave on there. your phone recording up right here? Right up here. That would be... While we go to the third floor? What if I just actually yeah. left a cam... Is there any cameras in here recording? Yes, there's always cameras. Now, does the cameras ever catch anything? Oh, yeah. What's the coolest thing one of those security cameras caught? You know that moving across I the floor? Have honestly, no idea. Honestly. Wait, was that on video? Like, well, you no, said that people. Been because all the cameras were here. But they didn't have it on video. They just had the recorder recording that. Babe, let's ask for it to move. <laughs> Why are you getting scared? Who? You. So, but I'm going to tell you right now, okay. I believe this room right here is the most haunted. We have to come back and ask for that too. Yes. This will be the, I believe, the most haunted. The whole place is haunted, but um, you'll get a lot of painters in here. A lot of people will feel really sick. You'll smell sulfur. I smell the sulfur. Yep, you'll smell so. Oh, oh, you hear that? Yep. Now I'm getting the chills, because now they're here. And when we go back downstairs, I'll show you what they did up here to me, right on a tour which was very nice of them. Anyways, right here, you would have seen the President of the United States, Ulysses S. Grant, would have sat right here at this table. Mark Twain was a member up here of the Millionaire's Club. So was um, John Mackey from Mackey Mansion. Mm -hmm. So was Sandy Bowers from the Bowers Mansion. They would have all been sitting right here playing poker. They were millionaires. Mm -hmm. This is the original door, you guys, 1861. And this is where the women of the night would have ended up coming in. Oh, okay. Because they had to come in the back way. I just want to throw oh, this yeah. out there, okay? So millionaires today aren't like the millionaires no. back in the 1800s. No. Millionaires back in the 1800s are probably more like the billionaires today. A lot more millionaires in our day and age than, of course. Oh, it's, yeah, they're crazy. The, the millionaires back then of Virginia City was top five in the whole world for being the richest in 1875. Is that because of the gold? The silver. Oh, the silver, okay. Yeah. So there was more silver here than gold. Yes. So this is original, you guys. There would have been a bartender sitting in here and those guys would have never had to get up. Wow. So yesterday, wait a minute, yesterday, uh -oh. <laughs> I have to say, okay. I do have to tell you this. Um, I had tours all day long and um, nothing, nothing, right? But when I came up here this morning, is that a baby hand? Mm -hmm. Little hands. And a man's hand. What? And that was not there yesterday. Uh, and I'm not kidding you. Baby hand? Yeah. Do you allow baby, like kids in the tours? Or? Oh yeah, but this, it wasn't because I, I always know where they're at. Because they can't, I'm afraid, of, you know, they right. can't be breaking right. anything. But that was not there, was absolutely not there. So we're going to the third floor where I heard somebody walking around. And you said that there's nobody up there. Nobody's up there. I think I actually caught that on camera, too. I bet you did, because he's always up there. And his name is Scotty? Yep. Scotty committed suicide up here. Oh, gosh. Please let me know if you see anything. Somebody was walking right there. And now I'm chill. Oh, hi. There's nobody there. Now, some may argue a lot of these old buildings, they make a lot of noise from... All the wood, old wood. It's not very windy outside though. And there's nobody here. Only thing about Virginia City, after five o'clock, so this, this is where Scotty hangs out. Yeah, this was his room. Oh. His 14 year old son ended up 
um, dying Aww. at 1,600 feet into a mine shaft. When he found that out, he was a bartender here, walked right up here and shot himself in the head. Oh, I'm so sorry, Scotty. Yeah. Yeah. He's always up here, you guys. It sounded like somebody pacing. Yep, he's always up here. He's always walking around. Hey, Scotty, can you close that door for us? Let us know that you're here with us. You're more than welcome to. You could also walk around if you'd like. You're obviously trying. Oh! That's the wind. That's the wind. Okay. Calm down. <laughs> well, I mean. But it just, it does it at the exact right time. Yeah. Too. I mean, that's what I it find strange. Does. No, it did it earlier today, too, when somebody was asked there. a question. Yeah. I think I got more scared from you. No, I'm telling you, yeah, it does. People bring all this nice, creepy stuff for her to play with um, at nighttime when they come and stay here. And she doesn't know what this one is. She loves this hole. Oh, and I think she was because of that. Yeah. yeah. So, what happened to her? Like, okay, so up here, there used to be a whole another building connected to this building up here. In 1874, a man, supposed to be a dynamite expert from the Union Army, he came and stayed. He came to work in the mines, and he did have a pet monkey. Oh. And he really had a pet monkey. Um, they have pictures of him down in Carson City with his pet monkey. Anyways, he was so smart. He decided to keep all this dynamite in his bedroom back here. No. Yep. And his pet monkey kicked over six cans of nitroglycerin and blew the whole building up. What? Yeah. So that That's night, yeah, that night they found the man's torso down on Main Street with his watch. No head, no arms, no legs. One poor man, 200 feet away from here. One of the doors flew and hit him and killed him. Another guy, all the timbers fell on him and people were trying to um, get him out from underneath and he burned to death in front of everybody. Oh my gosh. 12 people ended up passing away that night and Emma was in here with her dad and they passed away. All from a damn monkey. Yep, <laughs> all from a damn monkey. May so you guys play, rest you in guys, peace. We play with her all the time. So we hide that ball. And she will always bring it back to this room. We're gonna go and toys are for Emma. Pretty creepy. Right here, I really believe, and that sounds funny, but I believe this is one of the most haunted places too. Oh, Aren't you cute? Shelly was saying that she feels like this is one of the more haunted spots of the Washu. Oh yeah, we did smell perfume. Yeah. yeah. When I come into the ballroom always, when I walk through the door, I always smell perfume. Wow. Older perfume. So yeah. you guys, this is Lena's room. This is the lady in blue that I was showing you downstairs. Really? Yeah, this was her room. Oh, wow. She got pretty much decapitated in here. Wait, yeah. Wow. And so he slit her throat so bad he cut off pretty much cut off her head. Was there a reason why? Um, nobody ever got, it was one of the millionaires. Are you? In the, in the millionaires club. This is her, it's Lena. Oh my she God. She scares the most people. Up what? Here. She's the one that scares the bartender downstairs. I love her. Yeah, Danielle, and she always calls Danielle's name. She scares Danielle so bad that Danielle will just walk up the bar. She won't do anything. She's like, I'm out of here. She probably just wants she, to be Danielle's friend. No, I don't think so. No. No. She's just messing with her own I think so. Yeah, because <laughs> in the 80s, they actually, she was causing so much havoc downstairs, they put an ad on the news to get somebody to come up here and get rid of her. But nobody can get rid of her. Because they do stuff every night to her, almost. You know what I mean? So she's never going to go away. <laughs> You getting some touching on no, your ear? I heard something in my ear. Did you? you probably heard it. No, it, it was like that, but it was like more of a. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's cool, girl. Sorry. Right. So now we're gonna go into the work room, you guys. So the third floor, like Shelly said, this was originally for the miners. It's huge up here. <laughs> so you guys, um, whoever is in. What was that? Was a whistle. That was, I know you got that on camera. I, yeah, I got that on that camera. Was, and last night there was whistling in here too. Wait, sure, it wasn't a piece of no. wood. Oh, it was that. Yeah, that's what it was. Okay, okay look. 
That was the whistle. Okay. Okay. That was good. Yeah. So, so you guys, find whoever it is. is in this room, he is slamming this door so much that he's breaking it now. He hates this door being open. Oh, Absolutely look. Absolutely hates it. Yeah. And look at it. He's breaking it really good down here, too. He always slams this door, and he will slam it when it occurs in here, which is always nice because it'll really get the out. And we'll hear it slam in here. We already know which one it is. You know, oh, don't wow. even have to. Don't even have to look around. You already know it's this door that's going to be slammed. Um, well, already, you already closed it. Nothing's going to happen now. Well, what if he opens it? He doesn't want it no, open. That's I why he slams it. it. Mm -hmm. Oh, you have to open yeah, it. I have to open it. He doesn't want it. He doesn't want to open it at all. He likes it closed. Oh, he likes it yes, closed. that's why he slams it. That's oh, my bad. Oh, okay. So, in here, to you guys, from here, I know it sounds funny, but from this wall right here, there will be a man that walks out of this wall and walks right through that wall. Whoa. Huh. So, I'm going to have you guys listen to a recording in here. There was the tour guide in here. And then you're going to hear the tour guide say they, he got a woman's voice on a recording. But over the top of that, you're going to hear a man say, shut the door. And I believe he says it three times, twice in the beginning and then once at the end. Did you guys hear this? <laughs> Great, you can hear this. All right, there was, uh, there was a lady next to me and there were two other guys in the room with me. There were four of us. And uh, we were doing a EDP session and we got a ghost that came through a lady's voice now and she said... <gasps> it said, shut the door. Mm -hmm. I heard so it. In the beginning, I believe he says shut the door, and then he says shut the damn door, and then shut the door. I'll do it again. Wow. I only heard it the one time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. Mm -hmm. All right, there was, uh, there was a lady next to me, and there were two other guys in the room with me. There were four of us. And uh, we were doing a EVP session, and we got a ghost that came through a lady's voice now, and she says. <gasps> Is so, so in cool. this room alone, you guys, over 150 people have been scratched. Mm -hmm. And he was so nice, he even wrote on this board right here. <gasps> JWT. That's what I think it is. J. And there's three marked. Yeah. Like a W, a T. Oh my gosh. Well, I wonder if his name was JT. I don't know. So, if you guys look down over here, look down this, it's like a 60 foot drop. There's nothing down there. Oh, it's okay. really weird. But this right here got ripped out of this in front of everybody. And I mean ripped, ripped out. And one lady fainted. And then one lady um, had, I would say, maybe anxiety attack or panic attack. Mm -hmm. And she was shaking and crying so bad that we could not oh, get her to wow. settle down. Dang. But I believe he's just a big old bully. He's just a bully in here. But when you rent this place, the very first thing you were told is you cannot bring in a Ouija board in here. Oh, you don't do those. Yep. Yeah. I'm looking and, at all these orbs flying around. Yep. Yeah. And what? And we believe somebody brought something in here with a Ouija board. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because there's a great video, and I don't have it, but I have seen it. We're right in here. There's a lady looking back through the glass in here, right? But then it turns its head, and when it turns its head, I have a picture of it, when it turns its head, he turns all red, and his fingers turn into claws, yeah? Mm -hmm. And then his face turns into something that's not really cool. Yeah. And so I believe that's what he is. Like somebody conjured up something. They think they're talking oh. to their grandma. They're not talking no, to their grandma. No, you're not talking to your grandma. Something de demonic. Yeah. It took the form of grandma. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. What was this before? We have no idea. Isn't that a trap? Oh my Look, God. Look, I've seen the picture, but you walked away. <laughs> oh, I want to see the picture. Okay. Okay, I can't get it to go bigger. So he's red right here, and then those oh, are all his claws. Oh, wow. Look and at so that. he's sideways right here, looking back in here. Oh, mm -hmm. Do you think that could be what's. I think he honestly, that I think, oh yeah, but I think he's a big boy and he's trying to pretend like he's something else uh. to get people from not coming in here. But I could get totally wrong. wrong. Um, the owners will not come in this room at all. Really? Oh. No, they will not come in Thanks here. Thanks for telling us that after coming in here. <laughs> <laughs> maybe he just likes his privacy. Maybe, and maybe he's just a grouchy old guy and he just wants this room for himself. I think whatever is in here is malevolent. You're not allowed to follow me home, whatever you are. Follow me home. 
So that doll in there, that's what she looked like. What? Mm -hmm. So maybe whatever is attached to that is... It's really creepy. Mm -hmm. I was going to say maybe it's something positive. Well, hopefully. I don't get that vibe. No. <laughs> so you guys be really careful down the stairs because I'm going to tell you right now, a lot of bad stuff happens on these stairs. Oh gosh. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the People will get kicked down them. I feel like someone's following me. Don't follow me. They follow us every day down the stairs. So Tiffany just took a picture of the stairs we just went down and you can see what looks like an, an orb or something. It's like a... Uh, I have to show you that my radio bleep is later. It's crazy how it just dies out here. It's like 6 o'clock, well maybe 7 o'clock. Everything closes at 5, 4 or 5. Oh look at the puppy! How you doing? He's the bar dog. Yep. Hi buddy. Aww. I miss my dogs. I don't know why. It sounded like there was a bunch of people hanging out here at the bar when we were upstairs. There's nobody here. Just one of the bartenders cleaning. Looks like a skeleton sticking there. It does. Is it? So if you come to the club here, uh, if you're a woman, maybe hit up the gentleman's bathroom because I hear this bathroom things happen. Oh, hey, lady in blue, do I have your permission to go in your bathroom? Can you drop down one of those toilet lids? Just to let me know you're here? How about this? You either close this curtain or drop the lid on the right if you want me to stay or do something over here on the left if you would like for me to leave. Oh, this is moving. Thank you. I'm gonna go now. Please don't follow me home. One thing that we like to do a lot when we go explore somewhere haunted is snap a lot of photos. After examining this picture, you can see what looks like a strange hand pointing in a certain direction. After confirming with everybody, that was none of us, and it was actually pretty terrifying to see. Let me know here in the comments what you think. I was just told a very interesting story that I'm gonna share in another video. You're just gonna have to wait and see, but big shout out to Shelly here at the Washu Club for having us and sharing some of her experiences here. I'm gonna leave a link down below to their website if you want to book a night here. Like Shelly said, a lot of the activity, and I've never heard this before at a haunted location, a lot happens more so during the day. So come on a tour, ask for Shelly. There's also a couple other really good tour guides that she has mentioned too. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, even if you wanna come sit at the bar, have a drink, just remember they do close early, so get here early around 11, 10, well, 11 o'clock they open? 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock a.m. Thank you so much for watching. Before you leave though, give me a kiss. Peace.